Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been causing quite a stir in the Dungeons and Dragons community. That's right, we're talking about the upcoming changes in the 2024 Player's Handbook and why the exclusion of one beloved class is making waves. Stick around because this is a big one. So what's the deal with the 2024 Player's Handbook? Well, it's bringing a lot of exciting updates, new subclasses, species options, and even some entirely new character choices like the Sphinx of Wonder Familiar and the Path of the World Tree Barbarian subclass. But amidst all these changes, there's a glaring omission, the Artificer class. First introduced in Eberon, rising from the last war and later featured in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, the Artificer has become a fan favorite. It's a class that brings a unique blend of magic and technology, allowing players to create magical items, gadgets, and even mechanical companions. The class has roots dating back to 1996 and has evolved significantly, becoming a staple in many campaigns. But now, it's been left out of the new handbook, and that's a huge blow to many players. Why is this such a big deal? The Artificer isn't just another class, it offers a level of customization and creativity that's hard to find elsewhere. Whether you're playing an alchemist brewing potions, an armor-clad warrior crafting powerful gear, or a gadgeteer building mechanical wonders, the Artificer brings a fresh, innovative approach to gameplay. Its integration with magic items and constructs makes it a versatile and fun class to play. Wizards of the Coast has mentioned that the new handbook will stick to the core 12 classes from the 2014 version. Lead designer Chris Perkins even hinted that they might be streamlining the number of classes to avoid overwhelming new players. He suggested that classes like the Barbarian and Warlock could be seen as extensions of the Fighter and Wizard, respectively. While there's some logic to this approach, it doesn't sit well with everyone, especially those who love the distinct flavor each class brings to the game. Now, I get it simplifying things can make the game more accessible, but there's a fine line between simplifying and stripping away what makes D&D &D so rich and diverse. The Artificer's exclusion feels like a step backward, especially when players have been asking for more, not fewer, options. The demand for new classes is evident from the plethora of third-party content out there. Players crave variety and the ability to explore different archetypes and playstyles. But here's the silver lining, backward compatibility. Yes, the Artificer will still be playable in the new edition. Dungeon Masters can integrate the existing Artificer class with the new rules so all is not lost. However, the lack of official support in the new handbook is still a letdown for many. What's also interesting is the broader implication of this move. Could this signal a crackdown on additional classes in future releases? If Wizards of the Coast is starting to tighten the reins on class diversity, what does that mean for the future of D&D? &D? Will we see fewer new classes and more focus on subclasses and customization within the existing framework? Personally, I think there's a balance to be struck. D&D &D thrives on creativity and the ability to tailor your character to your vision. Cutting back on classes could stifle that creativity. At the same time, making the game more approachable for newcomers is a noble goal. It's a tough call, and only time will tell how this decision will play out. But enough about my thoughts, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the exclusion of the Artificer from the 2024 Player's Handbook? Do you think simplifying the class structure is a good move, or are you worried it might limit the game's depth? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get the discussion going. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy adventuring!